So I thought I'd quickly show you this. Uh, I've done my scarf joints. So originally, it were a piece of wood like that. And then by doing this great big long, in this case I used a 10 degree angle, but anywhere up to about 15 is good. Uh, 8 to 15 I guess, something like that. You turn that around, and then you get the back angle for the headstock. Uh, yeah, so the idea is to have two of these sandwiched between two of them. So this is the oak that I retrieved from an old bit of furniture. And this is some sapili uh, that I bought from a local hardware shop. I'm thinking that once I've glued these two bits together and they've set, I'm thinking of putting a, a piece of maple veneer between them as a sort of pinstripe against the pink there. It might kind of reflect the lightness of the oak, the lightness of the oak. I think it's the white oak. Uh, I've never done that before. Uh, it's worth a try. Um, and also this scarf joint, because it's in a laminate, effectively. Uh, if this joint wasn't that marvellous, and it's probably not going to be. <laughs> um, it's not so critical because uh, it's going to have pieces either side of it. It's going to be sandwiched. Um, whereas if it was one big block, one big neck blank block, um, oh yeah, you've got to get it fairly good because you've only got the surface area of the of the joint. Whereas here I've got huge surface area to stick my scarf joint to. So that's an advantage to lamination. And also, once I've done this, prior probably to gluing it all together, I might very well rough cut out with a jigsaw, cut away some of the excess neck. Because it's an awful lot easier to do when it's a nice thin bit like that, and your jigsaw goes through quite neatly. Than, again, than when it's one great big block. But you see what I'm saying, that if you didn't have a pencil and you happen to be making a neck uh, in a laminate style, that's a particular advantage, that you can just cut all the bits while they're still thin before you stick them together. Okay, I think that more or less covers my uh, waffle. I'm gonna go and try and stick these together now. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention the, the neck I've been doing the scarf joint for um, is for this, I don't remember myself, and it's so confusing. Don't do two banjos at once. Don't make two different instruments at once. Oh. Um, the reason why I'm progressing this one um, is because I kind of I made a bit of a ricket. Because I, I didn't have a plane at the time an electric plane. I thought I'll go by one of these edges and I'll, I'll pop it through the table saw just to tidy it up and oh, that was a big mistake. I don't know if you can see, it's, it's absolutely trapezoid. Huh. So now I do have a plane and I'm gonna have to plane this back try and get it one square side that I can work from. Um, but the problem with that is, uh, originally, I wanted it to be uh, deep enough uh, that I could have the back angle for the peg head out of the one piece. But now it's going to end up too thin. So I'm, <laughs> so I'm going to have to do a scarf joint anyway. Okay, so be it. But that's why this one's stalled and the other one seems to be racing ahead.